Good morning, praise the Lord. Today, 19th November, we'll talk about uh, the suffering warrior, Paul. We can't end the study of Paul without remembering his sufferings. This aspect of Paul's life and service was brought before him at the time of his uh, conversion only. He was then told by the Lord through Ananias. We see this in Acts 9.16. I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. Faith in Christ brings great blessings, but often great sufferings too. Paul would suffer for his faith. All the sufferings are uh, recorded in 2 Corinthians 11, 23 to 27. He himself tells them. Uh, God promises to be with us through suffering and hardship, not, but not uh, spare us from them. Not long before his conversion, Paul had uh, witnessed the suffering of Stephen at the hands of his beloved Jewish nation. <clears throat> he had watched them stone him to death and had given consent to that, that death. We'll see the different instances of his uh, sufferings. First is uh, perils from Jews and also Gentiles. Salvation had already changed the course of the life of his, this once proud Jew. As a Christian, he entered Damascus blind and led by the hand and left it with the humiliation of uh, having to be passed through a window in a basket and led down by a wall. This was because of opposition by the Jews when he was the subject of a plot to kill him. In Jerusalem, he found it was the Greek people who went about to slay him, the Hellenists. He had commenced his life of suffering for the sake of Christ. Before his conversion, he was a um, ardent sufferer of uh, the Christians. But later, when he became, he was converted. He was ready to, and willing and happy to suffer for Christ. Then in the three journeys that he made, missionary journeys, the days of preparation were over and Paul and his companions uh, uh, like Barabbas and others had been sent forth by the Holy Spirit with the commendation of their local assembly at Antioch. Soon they were fighting the good fight of faith and experiencing the suffering which follows. At Antioch, the Jews raised persecution and at Iconium an assault to use them despitefully and to stone them. At one point, the disciples stood around Paul after he had been stoned and the people who stoned him, they left because they thought he was dead. We see this instance in Acts 14.20. Yet God was using his servants Souls were being saved and assemblies planted, but the persecution continued. Of this period, Paul later wrote to Timothy in 2 Timothy 3.11, Afflictions which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. What a good uh, witness. The later experiences of the many stripes, and prison at Philippi and the uproar at Thessalonica all bear witness to Paul's continued physical suffering. Then uh, he suffered there due to the care of the churches. Paul's suffering was not only a physical in physical nature, <clears throat> he continually carried the burden of the church's uh, spiritual progress and care on his heart. He was worried about the sufferings of the believers conflict among the saints and concern for the assembly at Corinth. We as Christians should be having such a burden. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for teaching us the suffering warrior, Paul, Lord. Please help us to suffer for your sake. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. Amen. God bless.